Are you considering using the pulling out method to prevent pregnancy and wondering how effective it is? It seems like a really good option because there's no cost, there's no one that has to take any medication, and you don't lose any sensation from a barrier method such as using condoms. But what are the actual chances of getting pregnant using this method? Well, in short, compared to other contraceptive methods, the chance of getting pregnant is relatively high. One of the reasons for this is the pre-ejaculate, otherwise known as pre-cum. This is a fluid that's secreted by the penis during sexual activity before ejaculation. The pre-ejaculate is produced by the cowper's glands, which are some glands that sit underneath the prostate. And the function of the pre-ejaculate is to help with lubrication during sexual activity and also to neutralize the acidic environment of the vagina to allow the sperm to survive. While strictly speaking, pre-ejaculate does not contain any sperm, if you go a second time or recently ejaculated, there may be some leakage of sperm which may be picked up by the pre-ejaculate and this may lead to an unattended pregnancy. In fact, sperm can stay alive for five days. Another reason why pulling out may not be a good contraceptive method is purely because it may be hard to pull out at the right time once the snowball gets rolling. For those who want numbers, it's roughly 78% effective in what is defined as typical use, which means what is typically seen in the real world. These numbers are based on how many people will get pregnant using this method over one year. So a 78% effectiveness means that 78% of people using the pulling out method after one year will not get pregnant, while 22% of people using the pull-out method will get pregnant within one year. Some resources suggest that the pulling-out method can be as effective as 96% if used perfectly, meaning only 4% of people using this method for a year will get pregnant. To give you an idea on how it compares to other options, here is a list of the effectiveness of other methods listed at their typical use rates. Perfect use rates are generally much higher, but these are only really seen in research studies where they're closely monitoring the patients, and it's not really reflective of the real world. Some of the notable ones on the list are the male condom at 82% effectiveness, the oral contraceptive pill at 91%, the contraceptive depot injection at 94%, the intrauterine device at 99.5%, and the contraceptive implant at 99.95%. By the way guys, if you're finding this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, it really helped me a lot. So in short, if it's absolutely critical that you do not get pregnant, the withdrawal method would not be the best option for contraception.